We produce a lot of gas associated with our oil, and the challenge has been what to do with the gas. And this pipeline project, and the Congo River Crossing in particular, helps us solve that problem by allowing us to be able to take gas from our Block 0 and Block 14 operations all the way down to the LNG plant that is located in Soyo, about 80 kilometers away. The pipeline initially was designed to be able to take 250 million standard cubic feet of gas. Mas o design máximo daquilo é para poder transportar 900 milhões de standard cubic feet of gas. The project is unique because it requires us installing platforms on either side of the Congo River Canyon and putting two drilling rigs operating simultaneously to drill and intersect their well bores underneath the canyon. Due to the fact that Congo River Crossing has facilities both in the DRC and in Angolan waters, uh, the project was facing a challenge of having the applicability of different customs and immigration regimes. So uh, it was crucial for us to engage local authorities of both countries to standardize and to apply immigration procedures and customs procedures for the movement of people to start with, vessels, helicopters, uh, material and equipment from a logistical base in Malongo to the rig sites. There were some issues around how we were going to manage getting the equipment to the rigs um, with regards to handling the customs and importation, exportation um, uh, requirements from both countries. And so uh, normally that process would take probably 14 to 21 days um, from the time that you would want to load out the equipment to the time when you could get it on the boat to get it to the rig. So we were able to come up with a simplified process by working with the com uh, uh, customs officials to where we could get that uh, time frame down to about three days. I'd say the biggest challenge was getting the two rigs, appropriately rigs, getting them on location, getting the direction of work, getting the right people involved, which in this case is Vector Magnetics and the technology that they use for, for relief well drilling. The Chevron requirements for the Congo River Crossing job is that the rigs have uh, continuous communication at all times. Currently, the, the honor is making up a joint of casing. The, the INSCO 109 is standing by. Once the honor team makes up the joint case and then we engage the uh, overdrive, then the honor driller will let the INSCO driller know he's ready to go. And then we'll continue slacking off, going in the, running in the hole with the casing and INSCO will continue pulling out of the hole with the five. So. So these specialty tools will allow us to slowly drill closer and closer together until these two well bores are combined. And then we'll use another set of tools to open it larger and then push and pull the casing through. Colocar o casing de 178 de um lado para poder sair do outro lado. Nós apenas aprendemos como descer com o casing da superfície até o fundo. Nós não aprendemos como levar o casing do fundo até a superfície. Major milestones is that we've been here for the CRX project and we've never had one P1 boat, which is a super milestone, but uh, that goes to great planning. Also, another milestone is we've been the Chevron's clear leader for four months in a row. So it just goes to show that even the challenge of this project, we're still uh, achieving Chevron's expectations. Uh, with their clear leader program uh, with zero and also the rig is at zero downtime for the last six months so the efficiency for the CRX has been really really top notch. For me, the security is the duty of each one of us. The security for Chevron is in first place. Only with the security can we achieve the objectives planned. I think Transocean and Chevron have a great understanding of each other and they do bond together very, very well. I mean, we always say efficiency first, but safety always, you know, and, and that is true. 
It's something that we believe in, and I think you, you'll see it when you're about, and you'll feel you'll feel it. You'll feel it the minute you come on board that so it's safety, and, and they're passionate about it as well. Uh, and we've got a great team that's also out there uh, pushing that message on, and coaching and mentoring the guys as well. So, yeah. when I think about the Chevron Way and how it applied to this project. It had to do with making sure that we had the right people on the project at the right time with the right skills. And by bringing all those together, we were able to execute this project in a very uh, cost-effective and timely fashion. And we're very excited about the product that we're ultimately going to be able to turn over to the government of Angola.